this is Dan here. I hope you're doing really well today. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you three really simple, very easy to play patterns that you can use over a major 12 bar blues. Now, there are lots of different 12 bar blues forms, but in this lesson, we're going to use this one. You can download this PDF, all the shapes and the backing track below. So let's look at the first shape. Now, just playing it from the first note to the last note and back again, it sounds like blues, doesn't it? Now, these patterns, they're coming from Willie Dixon. He's like the archetypal prototype blues double bass player, and he would play these bass lines back in the day. And that's really where we're getting a lot of this from. Let me just quickly explain what these intervals mean. So that patterns are great on bass because you can just learn a shape and apply it anywhere. But the red blob is the root note. On A, that's A, that's the lowest note. Then we've got a major third. That's just like the third note in a scale, major scale. And the fifth is the fifth note. So that's a little triad there. That's a major sixth. And that's the octave. So, you know, we're using fingers two, one, four, and then one, four again. One finger per fret. Actually, pretty good little exercise to test out the stretch in the hand there. If you need to shift across a little bit to get to the notes, do so. Just playing it up and down is in itself a blues pattern. If you're following the progression, when you get to four notes, if you're playing quarter notes, those are quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Well, the next bar you need to go to is D7. So we, we haven't got enough time to play any of the other notes. So just put your, so I'm on the fifth fret of the E string, that's A. Just shift your finger to the fifth fret now of the A string, and that's D. And you can play the same pattern starting from there. I'm using a shuffle rhythm here in blues. So one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. that rhythm is swing eighths. So you could do that. So I'm just going up to the sixth and then just dropping back down to that fifth. You can use any notes in any order really, but obviously the root note's quite important here. I'm gonna move on to the next pattern. It's almost exactly the same as this one. It just adds a that little B7, that's a flat seven. And when you have a root, a major third, and a minor seventh as we do here, that's outlining a dominant chord. And blues, especially major blues, is absolutely full of dominant seventh chords. All these shapes will fit over those. So that gives you a little bit a little bit more, a little bit more interest. Again, I'm sure you've probably heard something like that before. It's a real classic one, that. So you're just going from the root, third, fifth, sixth, to seventh. And then just back down again but you can actually use it in any order. In fact, all blues is coming from there as well. Listen to that. So we've got root to five to that six, which by the way, is also a classic soul pattern. That's why I love blues because blues gives rise to soul, pop, funk, you know, loads of music that came after it. So root five, six, major six. And then right next to that, that's where that flat seven is. When we go to the E7, again, you only have one bar here, so you can do any order. So there, I'm going root all the way to the seven, that flat seven and descending. And you can add in some little rhythmic skips. That isn't one of the patterns I've got, but there I was just going from the, the end, the little turnaround, just going A and then chromatically up from frets four to seven to the E to come around again. You can even play a chord. I just did the root, the third, the major third, and the flat seven together. 
Okay, let's move on to the last shape. I'm calling this the Donald Duck Dunn pattern. I think this is in Sweet Home Chicago, and it's a lot, a lot of Blues Brothers stuff, which he was in that band. If you think about that, you hear this pattern a lot, and he used it a lot in, in soul playing. So again, we start on the A, we've got the root. I'm going to a major third, but this time I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna place it on the same string as the root. So that would be fret five is the root, the A, and I'm heading to the C sharp, which is fret nine. Same string because you can then play the note one semitone or half step below it. That's like the flat third. Again, a real classic blues line that I'm sure you've heard before. So what you would do, first finger on the A, a little shift to get your second finger on that flat third, fret eight. It's nice to hammer on. And then under fingers one and three on the A string in this little position here, that's frets seven to nine, you have the fifth interval and that major six, they're now here. Loads of rock and roll and soul and R&B from the 60s uses this pattern. So there you have it. You've got three very simple patterns. They'll all work on any major chord or any dominant chord in blues. And what you can do is just download the backing track and you can use just one shape over it. You can use a combination of them and then you can add more into it, you know, a little bit more rhythm, some more of that chromatic movement, but do keep things simple. It's just good, I think, to understand that patterns are your friend on bass. Now I'm going to do another lesson next week, or this week actually, doing sort of a minor version of this, three patterns with a minor blues. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to get access to that. If you're watching this in the future, I'll put a link below to that one. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, let me know. I'll see you on the next lesson.